G'day everyone, Conan Tor here again with another 1v1 battle. And today I'm just trying my new tactic of uh, having a few extra skirm in there in the skirmish cav against Rome. And uh, bringing Galatia as you can see there. You can see the builds. Pause it now if you want a closer look. I'm not going to call them out this battle so you can just have a little quick look at them. I've got a lot of Galatian legionaries, but I've got a lot of skirm this battle as well. Got uh, four slingers and one archer. Then I've got my uh, skirmish cab as well, which is a new thing I've been trying. And this is a good test against Rome with a lot of Avocardi, so we'll see how this goes. So as you can see now, Rome's got a crap load of Avocardi on his front line. And the auxiliary cav. He's got four of them, so I'm uh, going to have a good test and see if these are um, these kind of builds that I'm doing now are exactly uh, what I want to keep going with, or or not. So this dude's actually not a bad player as well, so it's a it's a definitely a good test. So I'm bringing out the Glacian Raiders on each flank. And, uh, and I've got the Galatian Swords, both for an upgrade on each flank as well, so. And my General's got the uh, Raise the Banner and Rally skill. And, um, yeah, straight away I'm going to move up in the range. He's only got the two Balearics, so it should be uh, good to have a good go at them with the amount of skirmish I've got. Just bringing my uh, Glacian Raiders out the front there. And soak up a bit of fire. And get quite hurt. <laughs> and even if I do lose them, it's nothing too bad. Just gives me more time to shoot with my uh, skirmish there. So as you can see, Rome's sitting in the uh, woods a bit. But he's um, coming out. For a bit of a play there. And some good flanking shots with this Glacian Raider. This one's near pummeled for one kill. So I'll just send him in. Mix up the lines. Gets a nice charge in the start. He actually does a fair amount of damage and uh, starts killing seven of them or six of them. So it's not too bad. I'm going to take that opportunity to uh, get amongst it and start putting these Glacian Legionaries in. Raise his banner. It'll uh, help with the melee defence, keep him in there a bit longer. Get some good shots on with these uh, Glacian Raiders. So Avicardi are one of the strongest Roman units, so I'm going to be having a bit of trouble with them. Auxiliary Cav come in here and pummel me Glacian Legionaries. Then he follows up with Avicardi. So he's doing well so far. This is what I like to do with these Glacian Raiders, is lock up any Cav and get a bit of infantry support in there. With my Glacian Swords, I can see that happening there. And this Glacian Legion in the middle is going to give up the fight after only 30 kills. But um, this is when I use my general, try and get a bit of influence, a bit of morale influence in there. Noble Cav aren't too bad. Reasonable Cav, but um, I find sometimes I don't do what I want them to. But <laughs> So I'm going to use that to come over here, get into the auxiliary cav, and uh, have a good fight there while the battle's going on over there. So now it's not looking too good for me, but this is where the skirmish comes into play. I start targeting units like this, have a cardi here, start shooting the hell out of him. And that'll uh, take him down. And also under missile fire, so a bit of morale decrease there as well. So all over the field, we have uh, Glacian Legionaries having a bit of time, a bit of trouble, you know, a bit of a hard time. He brings his general in now. He's just going to get uh, pummeled. Just turn me attention onto him. Get some good shots in. General's doing okay over here against the Oxirly Cav, but not the best. Like him, be doing a bit better. So as you can see now, it's uh, starting to turn into his favour. 
having the um, strong Avicardi with the 64 melee attack and all the unreal stats they've got. Get a nice rear charge in here, which is um, going to hurt these Roman dogs. That's what the Glacian Sword is best for. But he comes in with his uh, auxiliary cav to relieve that rear charge. His general's uh, trying to kill these mercenary Syrian archers out the back here. But I do have this uh, slinger trained on him, so that'll do a bit of damage. Then I'll bring my general over, who I think he's dead now. No, he's still alive, my gen, so... He comes in to uh, finish off the general and bodyguard. So I'm still going strong in the middle fight. I've got this uh, Glacian Legionary out the back doing very well against the Avocardi there. So all over the field it's uh, not looking too bad. It's coming back in my favour. But then you see my general give up the same time his general gives up. So that's going to go against me. And uh, his Avocardi are disciplined so they'll stay in there a little bit longer. But the uh, skirmish superiority now is going to go in my favour. I'm going to get rid of these two Balearics. 45 and 55 kills they got. Whereas my uh, mercenary Syrian archers are starting to lay down the fire now. Get a few decisive kills there. So I got the Glacian Sword who's done very well. 138 kills, two upgrades on him. Or well, one because I already had one upgrade on him. And you can see over here... All he's got left is these two Avocardis and the Auxiliary Cav there and this uh, depleted Avocardi there. So Glacian Legionaries has done well but I think the deciding factor was um, a few of them rear shots with my skirmish. The Slingers have done very well as well. So Slinger with 41 over there. Now he's just got these two Avocardi left over here. Which is going to hold out strong. But um, in the end, you're going to get a bit hurt by all the skirmish. And uh, once I lock them up in the front and the back, the morale penalty should kick in. He's trying to run away off them, but I don't, don't know what he's going to do with them really. They're just going to get hurt wherever they go. Nowhere to run. We kicked him in the nuts. A dirty Roman dog. So yes, that's the uh, end of the battle. And um, yeah, the Roman Cav all done pretty well, except this uh, auxiliary Cav. We got hold of him pretty early. And the Avocardi done okay. This one, 217 kills. The Spear Gladiatrices, 95 kills, and then the uh, Hastati didn't do too bad, 65, this one done 6, pretty boop, and now uh, he's two Balearics, not very good at all really, considering the Balearics, and uh, well my skirmish, done an extremely good job in this battle, including my, um, couple of my Glacian Raiders over here, 90 kills is great, these ones, yeah, not too bad, but they held up the enemy cave there for a while, and Glacian Legionary is doing some good killing. And the Glacian Swords on the flanks are always good for me. It's the way I like to, to have them. Come in for rear charges after they finish off the weaker side infantry. They can also help out in the cav fight, as you've seen. So it's a good game. So Mana Nana, whatever his name is. So Mana Mana. Nana Mana. <laughs> Wherever the fuck you say his name. He done pretty well. Um, it's not a bad build from him, but I think a couple more legionaries instead of Avocardi. Cut down on the Avocardi would have been a little bit better. These uh, vigilies don't do much at all. But um, yes, that's my new kind of style, the old uh, skirmish, extra skirmish. Tends to win the day. I'm still uh, sorting, it, sorting it out, what's best to sit back with them or, or um, any out skirmish then go in at the end when I really do need to or or just uh, do what I've done then and skirmish and go in so but yes that's a good build for Glacier that one always works well 
with the uh, six Galatian legionaries and the um, two Galatian swords on the flanks and the Galatian raiders. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you like this vid and uh, my new, new setups and my builds. And I'll talk to you soon.